Now to Project Drive Safer. TMJ4 is a year-long effort to bring awareness to issues in helping to fight reckless driving. A grassroots organization says that the Milwaukee Department of Public Works put orange barrels up and poured concrete near 51st and Capitol, one of the most dangerous intersections citywide. Now the former chair of the Sherman Park Reckless Driving Task Force says that this is part of an effort to get curb extensions or bump outs along Capitol Drive. You're beginning to look at some of these prime spots in the city that really need attention. The more you draw attention to this, the more the state and the city takes note of it because it's coming from the community. It's coming from folks who drive this, this street. DPW says that the whole project will take about two weeks to complete. Steve O'Connell also hopes that traffic light timings will change to slow down drivers. Now, we have also been following a plan to improve safety on Oklahoma Avenue from 6th Street to 27th. And that's where we find our Sarah McGrew with an update on the city's plan. Esperanza Gutierrez finds herself on Oklahoma Avenue often. To go to grocery stores and church and pick up and drop off kids. And it usually feels dangerous. Right now we have an issue with people not obeying rules and regulations. And I know what she's talking about. Back in November, I tried to cross that street. I talk to people who live and work in this area and they tell me their biggest concern is just trying to get across this street. And six months later, that's still a concern for people who live and work in this area. But now the city has a plan to help improve it. And throughout the corridor, you'll see curb bump outs. You'll see pedestrian refuge islands. We have a few transit islands that we're excited about. Um, and a handful of high visibility crosswalks. Mary Sizemore is an associate transportation planner with DPW. They've been collaborating with community members like Esperanza on the project since the fall. We determined four goals in that process. So increasing walkability, um, decreasing motor vehicle speeds, better organizing traffic, and creating on-street bicycle connections. The final preferred proposal also includes narrowing the street from four lanes to two lanes in certain sections and adding protected bike lanes from 6th to 22nd. From there, we direct folks to take um, the KK River Parkway um, to connect to more um, low stress bike facilities along the Oak Leaf Trail. Esperanza has already seen similar improvements made along 16th Street from a previous project, which narrowed that street. My experience with those changes have been very positive. I used to be afraid to open up the door with the four lanes because I could feel them hitting my coat and stuff and now I'm, I feel safe opening up the door. Now she's waiting for construction on Oklahoma, which is set to start in the summer of 2024. DPW is still taking feedback on the final preferred proposal. To find out how you can make your voice heard, head to our website. Reporting in Milwaukee, Sarah McGrew, TMJ4 News. By the way, that stretch of Oklahoma Avenue is on the city's high pedestrian injury network, which means that stretch of road experiences high pedestrian injuries and fatalities than in other parts of the city.